What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital, and we have Joseph Nakla, CEO of Tribe Property Technologies. Always a pleasure to have you on, Joseph. How are you doing today? I'm great, Aaron. How are you? I'm great. Excited to be chatting with you. We got a little bit of summer left, so uh, feeling pretty good. It's a pleasure to have you on. Can you start by giving us a quick update since we last spoke? What's new? What's going on with Tribe? Yeah, we've been busy. Uh, as uh, as your viewers would know, we're a prop tech company uh, replacing traditional property management companies for condos and rental communities. We've been very, very busy. We are officially now national across uh, all Canadian uh, major markets. Uh, we've uh, we've made uh, almost 11 acquisitions to date. Um, and uh, with that presence now, we've been able to engage some of the largest developers uh, in Canada for a lot of master plan communities. So what we've been doing since we've spoken last is continue to deal with the backlog of new communities coming into the market. So our MRR continues to be very healthy and and growing. We've also uh, contracted a number of developers, uh, both uh, in on, in Western Canada and Eastern Canada, to that want our digital services as well as our management services. And we continue to be on the hunt for acquisitions, uh, uh, mainly in the uh, GTA market. We really like that market. Love to see you continue to execute despite the tough market conditions. So, you know, what are you expecting for the next couple quarters when it comes to your business? Well, we're 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 seeing uh, organic growth uh, strength. A um, uh, bunch of 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 that is, is subject to the hard work we've done to be national, as mentioned earlier. In addition to that, we've obviously have the life cycle of uh, of a transaction that usually takes place where a developer, you know, is finalized in terms of what a master community looks like, and then they eventually come around to the uh, planning of how this community is going to be digitized and managed. So we're starting to see a lot of those agreements come through the door. Uh, next couple of quarters, as mentioned. And you'll also see us strengthen our position in the Ontario market. Uh, this is an area that we felt like we're, uh, we're underrepresented and we have a lot of demand in that market. So you'll see us make some moves there. And uh, we're starting to take some, uh, some very, very strong moves towards profitability uh, for what we're hoping to be accelerated to faster than analysts expected. Yeah, that's great. I remember our last couple of interviews, you were chatting about Ontario. So it's nice to see you guys executing and <clears throat> tribe just announced a handyman service knock knock you know could you tell us a little bit more about that yeah great company it's a national footprint service provider that allows our homeowners we have as you may know uh more than a hundred thousand canadians that use our platform for their daily activities as, uh, around uh, how their uh homes and and communities are managed so what we've done is we've negotiated a national uh partnership with knock knock that allows any of our homeowners that live in any of our communities to receive an ongoing uh, coupon uh essentially a, a big discount that allows them to find a reliable insured uh, uh handyman to come in and, and actually perform Perform any long list of of, of services, uh, as you probably know, Aaron. It's, it's sometimes very difficult and frustrating to find handyman, you know, and and, and your traditional way of finding them are are often uh, uh, not very reliable. Things like Craigslist and what have you. So you tend to lean on a friend of yours that knows a friend and uh, scheduling them, and and also knowing what to pay is always very difficult. So we've taken a lot of that thinking out of it. We've leveraged our group buying power. Obviously, we're a large national player, so very few. Companies can negotiate the size uh, on behalf of the size uh, of homeowners that we have, and uh, we brought it to um, digitally to our uh, to our homeowners and tenants across the country. Great to hear. So you indicated that over COVID there were delays when it comes to buildings being completed. What has transpired since, and how's the market looking overall now? Would you say? Yeah, it's uh, it's a great question. Uh, as uh, as anybody that listens to me would have known, that a long list of developments. Uh, uh, these are the big towers that we all drive by. They kind of look completed, ready to go, but nobody's living in them. Uh, those massive developments over COVID really got hit by a number of reasons. Uh, one of which is obviously, uh, uh, you know, just essentially waiting for uh, appliances, waiting for some uh, back office uh, hardware that's needed for the 
the buildings. A lot of these developers really struggled uh, completing and getting the uh, the operating uh, permits or the occupancy permits as, as they're known in the industry to allow to, to, to ensure that it's actually ready to for, for homeowners to move in. Um, that was a massive problem for the last couple of years. And that does impact a company like us in terms of we have the agreement ready to go. We still make some revenue from the building being up and running, but until people move in, we some of our MRR line items get affected. So um, I'm very, very pleased to say that the market is catching up with a vengeance. Um, I guess uh, just the pure dynamic of, of the Canadian market having almost a million people added to it annually is just wow. means these people have to live somewhere. And uh, I'm glad to see that uh, the supply chain issues are, are caught up and we're seeing a significant number of brand new communities completed and, uh, and we're catching up. Hmm. So how come investors should be looking at Tribe today at these current valuations? I know it's a difficult market and uh, yeah, let us, let us know. We're, we're an absolute steal. That's what I would tell you. Uh, simply, simply put, we were trading below one times revenue, uh, run rate revenue. Um, obviously, we continue to execute. We're uh, well on our way through analyst reports that have been put on us for the last couple of years. We're still well covered. Uh, and I think we're a safe bet. And uh, for anybody that's concerned about any of the other verticals, I'll have to tell you, our vertical is is very, very solid. People have to live in these communities. These, these buildings have to be managed. Mm -hmm. And there's just more and more of them coming up. And we continue to execute on the revenue per door metrics as well as the revenue per customer metrics. So, so we're, 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 you know, very pleased and proud of the work that we've done. I know the market conditions are tough, but we, we think we're a great buy in the market. All right, Joseph. Well, thank you so much for all those updates. It's always a pleasure to have you on and I'm sure we'll have you back on soon. It's also great to see you always continue to execute despite the difficulties in the market. So best of luck with that and uh, enjoy what's left of summer. Thank you, Aaron. You too. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you wanna know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.